Yo, what's up guys, Arsene here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you 10 unique ways to kill players in a passive mode. So the first one's going to be located right over here, what you want to do is just drive over here, have your target in your car, and you just want to drive right into this wall, and you will get the kill. But firstly, what you want to make sure you do is just crash on a pole that takes health right there it took red health and then get your opponent or target in your car and then drive right there you may you want to make sure basically you lose that health and afterwards you lose the health the you know the wall breach that you drive into will actually result you getting the kill or if the player kills you this is how exactly it's gonna look basically you will just get killed instead so whoever crashes on the car is basically gonna essentially give you the kill in the end of the you know result by just driving right into the wall breach all right so the second one is really trickier and it's also very deadly so what you want to do is just pick up your opponent to target on a personal vehicle or it can also be a random vehicle and just basically do the same thing how you crash on the tree or a pole or somewhere that basically as you're driving fast you crash you both in the car will lose health correct so then you want to basically take your opponent into anywhere close by uh, wall breaches that they should you know just basically get out of the car and just go into that wall breach now with personal vehicles it works the best because you can actually just still get out of the car and they will still die so as they go into the wall breach as you know obviously you took health from them you will literally get a kill this will actually works with any sort of wall breach by the way so as they enter your car and then you take the health basically it will literally work afterwards to any wall breach any sort of wall breach that they go into they will literally die by you which is actually funny here i'm just testing this out with a random car from the street and as you guys can see his body teleports right back and then it goes right there the vaccine leader killed consults and that's literally how simple it is and here is quite of proof of like you know second of attempts and just like tests of kills you guys will actually notice that i'm basically farming kills at this point and i'll also show you like second perspectives of how like a player dies so as you guys can clearly see they go into another sort of wall breach right by the beach i'm pretty sure all of you guys know this one <laughs> but uh, as you guys can clearly see i'm just driving around and just getting random kills any second people go into any sort of wall breach I'm just basically going to be getting kills at any second, which is actually quite crazy. And I'm also obviously going to be showing you guys a perspective of how it looks onto my screen. If obviously, I go into this trap of, you know, death, I guess. So as I said, whether you're in passive or not, you will still die. So for this third one, it's actually one of my OG favorite ones. You can actually buy the Deluxo from Warstock Cash and Carry. And it also doesn't really have to get upgraded. Because as you upgrade a car and you basically put in weapons into it, you won't be able to go passive. So your security will be low. Make sure you, your you know, Deluxo doesn't have any sort of upgrades. You want to hover over at the sky, go back and forth, and make sure your balance in the sky is like so balanced into the point where you're not moving as much. And then you basically want to just jump off the car and then basically let the Deluxo land on their face and they will literally die whether they're in passive or not. Simple as that. By the way, before you click the eject button to exit the car, make sure you click hover mode first and then eject the car. So basically the car goes into normal speed mode and then it will smash the car right forward down, right? All right, so the fourth method right over here is my personal favorite one. What you want to do is go to travel and transport to Elitist Travel, and you want to buy the chopper called Havoc. So if you don't mind the price, definitely go for it and buy it, because I'm going to show you how useful this can actually be, as it's not. But go, what you want to do is take off the weapons. Do not have weapons on this, so you can go passive. And countermeasures, they don't really matter. They can just, you know, be still there just for the you know, looks of it, I guess. And as you're outside of your hangar, you can still go passive mode. And as you go to someone that's passive, you can actually kill them by just ejecting on them. If you do one of those aircraft spawning close glitches, this will be really useful to spawn it close by. 
eject and basically just go to a heist and you'll be safe and obviously this also will make you f you know request a havoc from ceo for free so anybody who's you know trolling in passive mode hiding and stuff like that this chopper is really unstable like it literally will go left and right and park just like that like upside down and that's what makes this blades on the chopper really deadly so definitely go <laughs> use the havoc All right, so for this fifth method, you must not use a personal vehicle. You must grab a car from the streets and gather the player in. Although you don't have to hit the car to lose health from yourself or the other player, you just basically want to drive into this area called the jetty. And as you drive here, you want to just you know scroll right left and go a little bit slow over here and just put the car upside down mid air and then just get out of the car. And just jump out the car midair as well and then you can obviously go into a heist invite but i only do it just to make the kill look better i guess but yeah this used to be my method from 2016 and it still works and it's really good because obviously it's not sus of a method as you don't even need to lose health it can also be worked on any sort of car from the streets Alright, so for the sixth method, it's a little bit different of killing players in passive mode. Basically, what you want to do is go to Warstock Cash and Carry and buy either the Terabyte Avenger or the MOC. Although, if you do have an MOC, make sure you also buy the turrets where the people in the cab can shoot with the guns. Anyways, so if people are, let's say, are in the clothing store and they're just, you know, hiding there in passive mode, right? What you want to do is just drive your MOC Avenger or the Terabyte, as I just did right here. I kind of did the terabyte because like the you know, it has a smaller hitbox area. You can actually gather players from, you know, all other areas because the circle actually appears to be, you know, spawning in better. What you want to do is just as you click at, to this option as you enter this blue circle area, it will give you an option where it says, "Hey, do you want to enter alone or do you want to enter with friends?" You want to click on the bottom where it says "Enter with friends" because as you click on "Enter with friends," It will basically just teleport anyone that you have added that's also close by doesn't matter if they're passive or not it will basically teleport them into your terabyte and make them load in with you now if you have a little bit of a faster Wi-Fi you will actually load in first and then as you load in first you want to basically just jump off and just exit the terabyte whatsoever or the Avenger, what it doesn't really matter. And as you get out, you want to empty the cab and empty everything possible. Just empty the cab and empty all this, you know, the cockpit area, whatever. And as you empty those stuff, they will basically be kicked out and go into black screen and be loading out of the service vehicle. Now, I would really suggest you guys to just put a lot of sticky bombs and stuff like that. And the moment you see any sort of like circle just spawn in close by, they must be out of passive. Because as Rockstar you know, announced it, you cannot be in passive anymore and the passive is, you know, just 5 minutes or whatsoever, right? So this will be an automatic death if you time it good and you basically get the kill as they will be out of passive mode. This is also a really good method to take people out of passive, so anybody AFK that you have added are basically victims. Alright, so for the seventh method, this is an instant death. Go right over here where I marked on the map, and as you basically get a player inside your Deluxo and you just drive right over here, they will instantly die. Although, do not forget to do the same method as I just mentioned like minutes ago, where you basically want to grab the player inside, and it also doesn't matter if they're in passive. You just want to crash into the you know pole or whatever it is, lose a little bit of health, and as you lose the health, you want to go right over here as well. This is another area that you can go, and they will literally die just the moment you enter that death spot zone area, which is called a wall breach. Alright, so for this 8th method, it's quite complicating and all because you're actually doing this with a bike. You do not have to lose health, all you want to do is basically hover over the empty vehicle option through personal vehicle, grab the player in you're with, and you want to jump off a high area and you want to click on empty vehicle before you fully jump off the bridge or wherever you're going. Make sure the area you jump off is pretty high so the player dies, although you want to click on empty personal vehicle first before you jump out of the bike all right it's about timing 
All right, so for the ninth method, it's actually a death spot located in Life Invader home base. What you want to do is just grab a Deluxor, any sort of vehicle that goes up in the sky. It can also be a Hydra, but it must be a personal vehicle, all right? And then you basically want to drive over here into the Life Invader location, and you want to simply just fly into this area. If you're going to be doing this with a Hydra, make sure you balance your jet good or tell your player that's trying to, you know, do a wall breach to basically go right into this life invader space spot which is not boxed up well and they would instantly die all right so for the 10th method it's actually a spawn death trick on the main facility on gt online i would say this is probably the best facility as if you request a personal vehicle like an aircraft all sort of vehicles will spawn close to this facility literally next to you so i would say this has to be one of the best facilities and it's also located in the middle you want to basically put the spike car blades in right into a location where people exit and they will die so place the car right where i'm placing it's the second liner and as you place the car right there you want to exit the vehicle go to vehicle status and you want to put the vehicle remote engine on and the blades will be working right and as a player exits and you place the vehicle right on the location they will spawn in and they will die right away i also put the sticker so you guys can know where to exactly put the car on and it really doesn't matter to this point any sort of player that exits the facility they will die right away here's proof that i literally go into an apartment right and it, i will still get the kill because the engine is on so the kill goes on Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you learned something new to use against people who hide in passive mode, definitely drop a like on the video as these tips hopefully you know, help you. And I will see you guys later. Peace.